Hi, in this video we are going to look at parent and child elements in CSS and the parent-child relationship of different elements in a web page. So all elements in a HTML document can be both parents and children except for the body which can only be a parent. So what this means is that the body section of a web page is a parent uh, that has child elements so things that are contained in the body like paragraphs or divs or images, tables, all those kinds of things that we can have on a web page. And then some of those things can also be um, parents. So for example, a div might contain a paragraph all right? or a paragraph might contain a span. So um, everything on the page, every type of element on the page can be um, both parents and children except for the body. So I've got the body here which is a parent of this div that's contained in the body. And then um, that div is also a parent of this paragraph that's contained within it. So the paragraph is a child of the div and the div is a child of the body. Okay, and if we have a look at this um, little illustration here, it kind of shows that relationship. So the body can contain different elements such as divs or tables, those are children of the body and then those elements themselves can contain um, other elements as well like paragraphs or headings or images or lists and those are also children. Okay so there's this relationship of different elements in a web page and um, we can use CSS code to be very specific about how we want to style different elements based on what they're contained in. So for example we might have a style for all paragraphs on a page but then we might have a different style or theme for paragraphs that are child, or that are children of divs, or maybe paragraphs um, or other content that are children of a specific div um, of a specific class. So I've got some content here on my web page. I've got just a regular paragraph on its own. I've got a div which contains a paragraph. This div doesn't have a class or an ID or anything like that. Then I've got another div down here which has a class name, it's just called my div. It contains a regular paragraph and then another paragraph which has a class um, and it's called my text. Okay, now if we have a look at that page at the moment, this is what it looks like. It's, all, it's just all plain text and we can't really tell them apart. But with our CSS code now we could go and be really specific about um, what style we want to give different elements that belong to other elements or are children of other elements. All right, so let's just start by applying a style to all, all paragraphs. So if we just um, added the P selector or paragraph element in our code and then set a style, for example, color blue to make the text blue. If we go back to the page and refresh it, we'll see all of this text uh, here is now, now blue text, okay? Because we've just said to make paragraphs blue. And so we've got four paragraphs here, they're all going to be blue. But now we could go and say, all right, make all paragraphs blue except for paragraphs that belong to a div. So if we say, and we can write it, type it like this, we can say div space and then P. So what this means is the theme that we're about to create or style that we specify is going to be applied to any paragraphs that are children of a div. All right, so you can specify um, child elements here, so paragraphs that belong to divs. And here what we might say is uh, color red instead. And if I go and refresh the page after saving the code, we can now see the first paragraph is still blue because it doesn't belong to a div. It's not a child of a div in this page, but all three other paragraphs of text here are now red because they all belong to divs. This one belongs to a div, and then there's two paragraphs here belong to this div. Okay, but we can go even further than that. So now we could say, all right, um, make anything in um, the div that's got the class name my div. All right, so we put in the class name my div there. Uh, make it green. Okay, so now that we've set um, the div with the class called my div to be color green, if we save that and go back to our web page and refresh it, 
we'll see that this text doesn't actually change. Um, it's not green now, uh, even though this uh, text here is within a div with the class name my div. And the reason why this text here is not turning green is because this code up here where it says div p is actually more specific. It's saying make any paragraph red um, if that paragraph belongs to a div, whereas this is only just saying make anything that's in my div um, green. So because this here we are specifying a parent and a child, it's much more specific. So if we wanted the text in here, that any paragraph text to be green, we'd have to say my div and then space and then the paragraph element there. And if we were to save and refresh the page, that text there is now green because we're being more, more specific. All right. If we got rid of the P tag there and just added a, a little heading in here and said, um, this is a heading within a div with a class. And we saved both of those files and went back and refreshed the page. We can see the heading is green, but these two paragraphs are still red. So we would have to say um, my div p um, as well. If we wanted to do that, make it green, we could say my div h1 as well, color green. And that would make both of them green. Okay, um, so I'll just get rid of that heading for now and I'll get rid of this. And um, what I'll actually do here is I'll say my div and then my text green. Okay, and we might have uh, my div reference that class and then p paragraph and whoops, that should be color green. And this one will do color purple. All right, so what this should do is um, we're gonna have this paragraph is blue because it's just any paragraph, any regular paragraph is blue. Then any paragraphs that belong to a div are red. So this paragraph here is gonna be red. Any paragraphs that belong to my div or the div with the class name my div are going to be purple. So this one here will be purple. Um, but more specifically, anything that is within my div um, and also has the class name my text will be green. So this text here will be green because it's of the class my text and it's within a parent object or element that has the class name my div. So we should see blue, red, um, purple, and green, just like that. Okay, so um, that's basically um, how we use the parent and child relationship in CSS to give a theme to specific elements on the page. We can apply this in a number of different ways. So we could apply um, a theme to a particular image if it's within a particular div um, or a, uh, a row of a table if it's within a particular div. There's lots of different ways that we can combine elements to create specific um, themes for those elements across the page. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.